Today, we are the third conference organized by the Environmental Foundation Limited. Green Conversations, a series of events, focuses on climate change this time around in order to highlight its importance and impacts in our day-to-day -day life. I'm Amra Youssef and you're with Pulse. Chaturangi, Head of Science at EFL with us here today. Can you brief us on uh, what exactly climate change is? Climate change actually means a lot of things. Usually, long time ago, actually, it meant global warming. But right now, it, all over the world, you can see some parts of the world cooling and some winters you get really cold and some summers really hot. So it's now called climate change rather than global warming. Um, so that means changes in the weather patterns, what we're seeing normally, um, you would not observe it. For the best example is actually the ICC World Cup that's happening, you know, it was scheduled because during these months usually it does not rain in the UK, but because they could not predict it, they're having rains and this is climate change, you're just seeing unpredictable extreme weather patterns. All right. How can we as citizens help in minimizing the impacts of climate change? Well, there are a few things that you can do. Um, Some time back it would have been doing small things like, you know, turning off your bulb, the switches for the electrical appliances and also just turning off, shutting down your computers when you're leaving, uh, changing into uh, lead bulbs and things like that, small things. But we've gone way past that and now we have to really voice out the policy makers and all the um, people who are making the decisions to make responsible choices. And especially given that Sri Lanka has committed to um, decreasing our carbon footprint, we have to hold these parties accountable for their actions. What are the major impacts climate change has on uh, us as a nation? Ours is an island nation. The first thing, the foremost thing is going to be sea level rise. We are already seeing it because the coastline is decreasing and there's like uh, the coastline is actually retreating. Um, and also we see drought conditions, um, floods. Um, so all these extreme weather patterns are happening because of climate change. You know, certain parts of the country are getting like drought conditions while the rest of us is getting more water and more flood conditions and this disparity is going to only increase with climate change so some of us would have no water and the rest of us would have all the water so the wet parts are going to get wetter and the dry parts are going to get drier so these are the impacts the main impacts of climate change We have Sharika today, the Director of Environmental Sustainability at MAS. Can you uh, tell us what actions have MAS taken to save the environment? Right, so I think the challenge for us has been that as a major organization, we've had to look at everything that is material around to us. So we've not just picked one or two aspects of the environment, but we've looked at all aspects that are material and that affect us. So the biggest thing that we've done, I think, is made a plan um, up to 2025 where our impact, if we are successful with the plan, our impact would be very minimal on the environment. And the idea is we've set our goals each year and we have been reporting against our success every year so that we're making it closer and closer to, to making the um, positive impact that we hope to have. All right. Um, why did MAS want to contribute to saving the environment? So I think there's two parts to this. Um, in terms of doing the right thing, which is what we've always wanted to do. 
And then there's been a second aspect of it where we've realized that we have to pick up that pace of the right thing to do because it is the only thing to do if we want to continue manufacturing the way that we are currently. And it's become more of a requirement in terms of our long-termism. If we want to be a manufacturer using all of the natural resources, we have to make sure that they will be abundantly available to us to continue manufacturing in the future. How does a large organization such as MAS keep track of, you know, wastage, discharge, consumption and etc.? So as a first step, we've gone and physically monitored every single piece of process that uh, generates waste and then it's been quite a tedious task I mean some ways are generally um, as simple as we'll have weighing scales and measure them others are based on slightly more sophisticated technology and systems but um, unfortunately there's a lot of manual labor that goes into it but it's been really effective to us because I think you have to know what quantities you're dealing with it in order to know the effort and impact it will add to you um, and the benefit it will add to you once you've removed it from your system so it's actually essentially a lot of manual labor tough work right now but we hope that in the future we can automate some of those systems We have Taranga with us today, the Communication Officer at EFL. Hi Taranga. Uh, can you tell us uh, what the mission or the, or the objective of EFL is? So the Environmental Foundation Limited, the main, uh, our main mission is to protect and conserve um, Sri Lanka's natural environment through legal and scientific means. Environmental Foundation is a public interest litigation organization. We exist since 1981 and we've um, protected the environment through so many court cases, positive ones. One of them is protecting the golf is green from being privatized. Um, we also have uh, policies um, initiated, uh, such as national wetland policy, and we are also working on a waste management policy at the moment with the government. So there's a lot of uh, good work going on. All right, what other events of this sort have, has EFL done before? This is one of a kind event um, and we started this event in November 2018, last year, and this is our third event so far. The nature of this event is that um, environmentalists, um, small and medium enterprises, students um, and the general public come together in one platform um, to talk about environmental issues um, prevailing in Sri Lanka and to find solutions for them. Um, we value everyone's opinion and that's why we try to have a diverse group come to this event and talk about um, what they try to do from their perspective to protect um, Sri Lanka's natural environment. Green Conversations, uh, from what I gather, is a series of events and this is the third event. Um, can you brief us more on what exactly Green Conversations is about? So Green Conversations is about solving um, uh, finding solutions basically for current environmental problems. The idea is to bring all people, not just environmentalists, who work on the environment, who do projects, uh, it could be an academic, it could be a business, it can be anybody who tries to do um, something about the environment and protect the environment. The idea is to have everybody collected in one platform and talk about solutions, network and find ways to do things. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the pulse of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.